a drink? Now, you're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. We need like five. And what are we waiting for? Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. Oh, Ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job here at the Astral Lounge. Oh, he's a good man. He cares a lot about the citizens of Neon, making sure they're all employed and well taken care of. Real humanitarian. This guy. Who created music? Pretty amazing, isn't it? That's Borealis, only 19 years old, and yet she produces some of the most heart-pounding, trippiest electronic music you've ever heard. I don't know where she gets her inspiration, but I'm betting all that free Aurora she gets has something to do with it. That depends on if you're hungry or thirsty. All right, well, I've got a couple of specialties of the house you might be interested in. First, there's our best seller, Sangria Astral, which is a curiously, but if your palate is a bit more refined, we have our Bayou Private. That enough? Or hungry? Yeah, a bit of a foodie, are we? I can't say I blame you. We're just as renowned for our cuisine. First, let me tempt you with our melon caviar. Delicate, salty spheres of melon, hydroponically grown in our private aqua garden. And to finish, our lounge special strip. A grilled soy-based steak served with a steaming side of chipped potatoes. <laughs> Anything there sound appetizing? Of course, of course. Got plenty here to choose from. I need, I need, think I need all six of these. Give me one of these. Excellent choice. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere else in the settled systems. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, all of its pleasures and pageantry are only an elevator away. Well, of course, the Sky Suite features... Whether you prefer the morning sky or a neon sunrise, the high ceilings and wall-sized windows, Come back soon. Hello? You're out there a lot, right? In space? Just do us all a favor and never treat us like this. Robbing. Oh, that? I do it all the time. Okay, maybe I don't, but still. Second thought. I don't want to know. 
special about that room. I don't know about special about that room. I don't know if we're supposed to talk to this guy, but we're going to do it. But I am going to use the bathroom real quick. All right, let's talk to him. I presume there's a reason that you're disturbing me. So you're in charge of Neon? Not that it's any of your business, but yes. I'm the administrator of Neon. Actually, there are a lot of perks that come with the job. But do you want to know my favorite? One snap of my finger and people who ask too many questions get thrown off of the upper platform. <laughs> I love that one. Does it mean you own this city? I wouldn't normally bother with idle chatter, but that's such a ridiculous question. I'm going to gift you with a response. I don't own Neon. Neon is the property of Xenofresh Fisheries, of which I just happen to be the CEO and the major majority stakeholder. Now, if you care to take a moment to dissect that statement in your... We're done here. I can't be a pup. That's what I think about that. <laughs> okay. Wasn't there one where we had to talk to what's her name? Probably in activities. Offer you mine. <laughs> now that would be something new for a change. You can't even imagine how many people ask for an autograph for Victor after we've been modding all night. He gets really annoyed. What's modding? Programming the beats, turning the dials. Come on, stay with me here. Uh, you should be flattered. Hey. I love my fans. I just don't like when they take things too far, you know? My music slate's gone, completely vanished. I had all of my new songs figured out on that thing, and someone ripped me off. Total drag. I could help you. Oh man, wow, that'd be so cool. Yeah, please. I thought I sensed a decent aura around you when you walked up. Um, what exactly do you have on your music site? Songs. 
lyrics, poems, all of my thoughts, basically. We're talking three years of stuff. It's not like I can just rewrite everything. Some of those moments of inspiration are long gone, out of my mind. That's why I write them down. Why is the site so important? The thing is, I perform here at the lounge every single night, which means I can't repeat the same set over and over. I have to keep it real. Uh, if you keep some moving flow, then that'll be worth the effort. Exactly. So, anything you can do to help is appreciated. Oh, and if you're looking for a lead, talk to Mika. She works the bar at Euphorica, and she's a walking grapevine. Anyway, okay. I got to figure out how I'm going to mod my next set. I'll see you around, okay? Did you use a word to help you write your music? Oh yeah, absolutely. It allows me to step away from myself for a while and harmonize with the universe. There's music out there, you know, if you listen. The trick is not getting hooked on that feeling. I got close to that state a few times, but reality and responsibility has always managed to pull me back. How'd you get started? I started playing music when I was 10. My father had an old electronic keyboard he passed down to me, and I fell in love with the thing. By the time I was 15, I got my first track and started club hopping. I was pretty young, but with my father as manager, he watched my back. Four years later, and here I am booked into the hottest club in the settled systems <laughs> pretty crazy i'm a little stoned right now hmm. well most of the people who come through here are fans and they're either zoned or just digging the rhythms that leaves collectors competitors or just a thief trying to make a cred it could be anyone really People try to put a price on everything. It doesn't matter if it's music or the stars. If that price is big enough, you start attracting people with bad vibes and long knives. Only a matter of time before you get cut. Soon safe. Well, we have a mission. I've got lifetimes of books and videos to It's all legal. What is what is Bob and Dad doing here? Well, uh, uh hello. Didn't expect to see you here. You guys are so busted. I'm glad at least one of us is having a good time. Your mother found a deal, one hell of a deal, an all-inclusive vacation package to Neon. <laughs> it's a retirement present. And, uh, well, everyone's heard about the Astral Lounge. Please don't tell me you're trying to take Aurora. Absolutely not. Well, probably not. No, we are not. Wait, what? What are you doing here? I'm on business. Yeah, nothing good happens here. I've been here long enough to know that. I'm here for an official reason, unlike you guys. Figures. Oh, dear Lord. So, um, let's pretend this never happened. Hmm? Oh, I do think that would be best, sweetie. Yeah. Oh, I don't see what the big deal is. It's all legal. I haven't felt so guilty since I was a kid. I haven't seen the leech in a while. I hope so.
Okay, we have the mining stuff done. Okay, that's an ab side. Sounds like she's trying to help someone or something. Honestly, I kind of tuned her out. Um. Where's the? Where's the mining lodge? Let's turn this in. I am confident. Don't forget, we sell all types of raw materials as well. Ah, thank you so much, my friend. I believe that this will be a great boon for my business. Thank you for taking the time to do this for me. It is not often to see such kindness here in Neon. Thank you again. All right. Now, with this in mind, that's down. Um, now, here's its security. I'm trying to think where can I? Put this in my ship. Where's a research bench here? I have to take my entire load of alcohol back to New Atlantis? That's this is right. the last run to Every Neon I'm crate. ever going to make. <sighs> Alright, let's cut to that. This is because I refuse to pay Bayou's ridiculous tariff on my goods, right? I don't make the rules, lady. You just take your job, load it back on your ship, and get the hell out of here. If I don't deliver these goods, I'm going to lose thousands on this job. Not my problem. Let it get moving. If the gangs can keep from killing each other, I just might have a good day. there when those security assholes nabbed me please have a heart you need to help me what are you in for did you do it am i guilty no i mean yes yeah i'm hypothetically involved in aurora smuggling but who isn't right what's going on here is about more than some bullshit charges i'll hear you out thank you oh god I gotta admit, I'm freaking out here. I've lost my job. I've lost my creds. And if I don't square things with Yannick Legrand, I'll lose everything else. Everything. Yannick is expecting a package. A really not so legal package. If you deliver it to him, he'll know I'm loyal. Don't worry, Yannick's loaded. He'll take care of you.
You are a regular lifesaver. You're solid. My crates unblock O2 in Ebside. My authentication code is Alpha 3 Kilo 4. Just tell the manager and she'll key you in. The package is there, everything accounted for. Just take that to Yannick and hopefully this damn nightmare will be over. Okay. You got a problem? No. Why would I have a problem? Reliant Medical. Or enhance. We've been here an hour already. You for you should have figured out what you wanted before we came. Watch step four. Take it easy. Pharma lab here. Welcome to enhance. If you're tired of seeing that same our state of the art machinery used for a small one time. Um I actually owe this job completely to my girlfriend. Valentina Gura. I don't know if you've met her. She works over at Xenofresh. When I arrived here two years ago, I met her at the Astro Lounge. We talked. I told her I needed a job. And she got me this gig. Cool, huh? It's a little scary, though. The person I replaced totally vanished. Like, poof. Valentina said they probably had an accident or something. She's helped me out with the Yeah, off so the much. top platform, she huh? Business from time to time people she sends my way it's the best please let me know if there's anything else i can do to enhance your day So how am I going to get this on my ship? Is there not a R Stroud Eklund? What can I answer for you? On behalf of Stroud Eklund I'd like to welcome you to our showroom today. Our company prides itself as the industry leader in spacecraft production. We use groundbreaking technology to give us a significant advantage okay. over our competitors. You can configure your desired spacecraft at any one of our I'm glad you and Feel free to have a look. How long have you been working for Stroud Eklund? Actually, I've been working here for only two years. Previously, I was an Alboron sales representative, but that type of work wasn't for me. I could never relate to the type of clientele that purchases weapons. But spacecraft have always held a certain fascination in my mind. It was comfortable working under Ryujin's banner, but despite all of my requests, they wouldn't transfer me to the Taiyo Astroneering Division. And so, here we are. You ever met Walter Stroud? He's been to Neon a few times, but I haven't had the pleasure of his company for more than a few minutes at the most. What I can say is that, despite what's been reported by the media, Mr. If you're in the market for spacecraft, please. It looks like a beast. Can we, can I upgrade the ship? It 
let's first off go to engines My bar is 60. Ballistic is 124. This is two seventy seven. You build that for our ship, or just selling it off? People joke, say those Varun zealots worship a snake. Let me tell you, it ain't a thing. Okay, now I can recruit some of that cost by going to the trade authority. Need some if it's too hot to hand, then here I thought you. I picked something else up that was forbidden. Me not. Thank you. 
without stepping out let's see if we can put this into our ship Alright, that worked. slab I still don't have any white out nice okay that's done Need to go Yeah, I still can't make it. What's happening, darling? Always oh, and any time. I feel so lucky to be with someone like you. Captive audience, though. Spending these moments close to you makes everything I've gone through worthwhile if it keeps us close okay Okay, let's do the Crimson Caravan mission. It's an ebb side. All right, it's going to ebb side. Stand up when you talk to me, digger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad part of town, buddy. I'm gonna do you a favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the disciples get you. Who are these disciples? Gang. Worst gang there is. They'll stab you for kicks, taking bets on how long you squeal before you bleed out. And that's not a hypo whatchamacallit. They seriously did that. <laughs> Poor Ted. I can't handle myself. Hey, 
Get your ass, not mine on the line. Whole area's gone to hell. Us crate rats used to think the Ebside strikers were awful, with all the muggings and shakedowns, but now that they're on the ropes, <laughs> kinda wish they weren't just holed up in Madame Sauvage's. Streets are getting bad. Real bad. So these strikers are better? I mean, yeah, they'll rob you blind, but at least they let you live. They're bad news, but compared to disciples, positive angels. Okay. All right, dig. Um, good to know. Sure, sure. So, for being so helpful, what with the disciples? Sure, here you go. Hey, thanks. Look, I mean it. Go back to the plaza. I'm gonna get distracted again. Where's uh the sleep plate manager? Can't talk right now, sorry. Sleep crates for rent. It's tight. Be careful around here. Not everyone that stays in our sleep crates are reputable. You tell me about the sleep crates? If you're struggling, sleep crates are the budget accommodation choice of Neon. It's tight. It's got a smell that's an acquired taste. If you're in the market for a sleep crate, you have the proper authorization code, and I'll let you into any place you like. I might even throw in a thank you. Code is off three kilo four. I got it. I got it. And authentication is all green. Look for C-153. Before you go, I'm going out on a limb here and assuming your account's more flush than my usual clientele. I've got some evicted crates set up to go to the dump. Might be full of weak old Kazimbas, or it could have the original Miguel Rafael Bailamos. Only one way to find out. I'll take a chance on it. A brilliant piece of art. It celebrates when the colonists, the vids make it look stunning. All done. <laughs> Pro tip. When your parents say there ain't no use for it. it... Great. Unit C203 is now keyed to you. Oh, these are the secrets. Loads of crates for rent for next time. Sleep crates for rent. And here you go. B101. Priceless. By the way, that's the last one. Pleasure doing business. Back to work, I guess. Are these done here?
This is something else entirely. Okay. Well, how do I get to this one? It's just the back side? Yeah, it's just the back side. Alright, this isn't a large underbelly or under portion at all. Oh, this is the alcohol guy. Thought I, re I kind of remembered his name. Hey there. Ah, a customer. Feel free to. Oh, yeah, right. You're with Nesher. I see the family resemblance. You're practically twins. I know he got pinched. So if you are some undercover neon security goon here to shake me down, beat it. Yannick's no one's mark. You told me to, to deliver this to you. Uh, maybe I'll keep this uh, package then. Wait, you said package? So Nesher came through. Might be he's less crappy than I gave him credit. <laughs> Who am I kidding? He's a bottom feeder. But when all the good fish get gobbled up by corporations, sickly minnows are all that's left. Take the credit. I am known far and wide. Not sure was really worried you ruin him. Go easy on him. Yes, yes. He is loyal. Loyalty will be rewarded. You look like talent, serious talent, and no one knows you. Yes. You are looking at the one and only maker. Uh, the kick is the problem. But you. Um. What's the big one? Ah. <laughs> Blend needs Aurora. Okay, the yeah. Rangers catch you with Aurora on a ship. And if the great Benjamin Bay you find them. But so far, and together. Okay, yeah, we already know all this. I like making lots of money. We know about Benjamin. This man thinks he owns Neon. The but he is too good to look in the gutter. So Yannick can carve. Okay. Very, very good. Nesher's worthless to me now. Loyal, yes. But he'll be watched from now on. Useless. And my other employee, ugh, Felix Sadler, makes Nesher look like a genius. I think it is time Felix Sadler takes a vacation. Permanent. Off world. Or maybe he tragically falls into the ocean, I don't care which. But you deal with him. And you become very valuable to Yannick. Ah, uh, Felix. Felix is a. Uh, he's okay. been getting worse. And the danger. This is the stuff. As long as our hands don't get too dirty, I suppose we can help out this Yannick character. Felix sacks up in some dingy warehouse in Ed. Okay. Give Felix my. Well, what a coin.
But you won't take the Aurora I have on my ship. We kind of already knew a lot of that stuff in the first place. Let's go in and talk to the Freestyle Rangers. Just see what they want to do. There's as many traps as there are temptations here. If you're here to report a crime, take it to local security. They handle that stuff. If local security handles crime, why does Neon need a Freestar Ranger? Mostly to keep an eye on the smuggling trade. Black market goods flow through Neon like a river. Can't okay. stop it, but I can at least keep an eye out in case it's something real serious. That's the new report. I was just having a look around. Yeah? Well, it's a public space. Word of advice. Enjoy the city but know your limits. Trouble's waiting around every corner and the law won't protect you the way it does in other places. Why won't the law protect me here? Law and authority aren't always the same thing. This is true. Neon, they're almost the opposite. People with authority don't much care about the law. Make the wrong enemies here. And you're better off just leaving the planet and never looking back. Thanks for the warning. I hope you'll take it to heart. I've known too many who didn't. There's something else you need? Was it your choice to be stationed here? Believe it or not, yeah, it was. My mother's an executive with Ryujin, so I grew up here. I volunteered for this post as much to keep the other rangers out of trouble as any other reason. If some hotshot rookie took this job and started flashing the badge everywhere, it wouldn't end well. Aren't you worried that your badge makes you a target here? Nah, I've got friends in high places, so to speak. I'm the son of a Ryujin Industries executive. Maybe you've heard of her? Name's Alexis Price. There's a sort of fragile piece here in Neon. It's better for everyone if the syndicates and the corporations coexist with minimum friction. Later. I mean, that makes sense. We haven't went in the hotel. They do say the hardest part is showing up. And I've done that. Oh, geez. I don't know if I can do this. Maybe I should just go back to my room. Sounds like you're having trouble, Sam. You might say I'm having trouble enjoying the local customs. And what's the point of coming here if, if I'm going to stay cooped up in my hotel? Believe it or not, I, I'm actually here for my bachelor party. <laughs> my fiance wants me to be more adventurous. So I thought, what better place than Neon? But I thought the adventure would just happen by default. I, I didn't think I'd have to manufacture it on my own. Are you staying here? How do you like it? I, I like that it's not a crate and, and I haven't felt anything crawling on me when I sleep. So I feel like they do a good job keeping it clean. What did your fiance say to you exactly? Oh, it's just the offhand comment here and there. How I, I never take risks or, or, or don't like adventure. She hasn't said I'm boring and I don't, I don't think I am. But looking at my past, I can't exactly prove that. This is my way of finding out. If you're in Neon for your bachelor party, where are your friends? I've been asking my therapist the same question for years. 
but he hasn't given me an answer I like yet. If some crazy you want to try, assume you chose Riza Nia for a reason. True. The, the, the city is known for Aurora, so I figured I should try that. But I talked with Dr. Manning about how it works, and now I'm skeptical. No, wait, not skeptical? Terrified. Hmm. Aurora's fine, small dust is just be cautious. But what do you consider small? It's probably different for you than me. I, I don't have much tolerance in general. Oh, th this is exactly what my fiance was talking about. I hesitate too much. But I also don't want to dive right in. I think I want to start with something less damaging to my central nervous system. Supposedly, Madame Sauvage sells a drink called Velocity that's almost like a drug. There's also some local swill people swear by called Blend over at Le Grand's Liquors. What, what, what do you think? I'd go with Blend so you don't have to go down the underworld. Okay, then we'll go with Blend. I'm, I'm a bit worried what's in the mix. But that's exactly the kind of cowardice I'm, I'm trying to get over. I'll try that first. But not right away. I need to uh, prepare myself for the ritual. But hey, uh, next time you come back to Neon, I'll be seeing you. Are you here to book a room? Welcome to the Hotel Voli. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. We have finally appointed spacious suites, all featuring fantastic amenities. Best of all, each room is security protected with an... Nope, no cat. My hotel is completely free from administrative influence, so you can rest it. Mm. Well, almost every they claim that it's because Neon occupies. I wanna. Well, luck might have played a, but that's a story. So. Oh yeah, I have a delivery. Red Harvest Reserve Whiskey for Natana Avida. Oh, how nice. His daughter must be feeling very generous to be sending him something like that. Mr. Obadia is in his room on the third floor. I'll buzz him and let him know you're on your way. You can use the elevator over there to deliver your package to Mr. Obadia. Well, let me add on your little secret of how you beat the system. Maybe after you've rented a room for a few nights. I'm sorry. I have one all set. How long are you planning on? One Fantastic. week. That'll... Please be courteous to him. Maybe after you've rented. Sorry. To tell you the truth, not really. He won't hassle me, but there's nothing I can do about my guests being hassled. The last, as you can imagine, business is... Remember, we always have plenty of amazing... So go out, have your fun. Live your Third floor. Why is there a random light there? That's weird. Red Harvest Reserve, huh? I assume this is from my daughter. Well, she knows how to get my attention. So what then? You're working with her? She thinks this will be enough to... Smooth things over between us?
here to talk to you about her. The whiskey was just to get me in the door. Of course it was. Ah, I should have not been so blind. You have no idea what you're doing. You need to tell me where she is this instant. My own daughter assaults me in my own home, steals my personal spacecraft, then runs off to who knows where. Now you think a friendly little chat is going to smooth it all over and make things better? How foolish do you think I am? Please accept the red whiskey. That would mean a lot to you. Hmm. My daughter knows me well. Maybe she is serious about this. This isn't what Belinda would have wanted, is it? Belinda? How oh, I miss her. No. You're right. She would be disgusted with who I've become. I've... I've been dishonoring her memory with my actions. She's sick. She refuses to seek treatment because she's afraid of you finding her. She could die. She would really put her own life at risk due to me. She puts me in a difficult position. She needs to face consequences. Yet, I do not wish her to die. I think we can come to agreement if we're willing to listen. I don't disagree with you. I suppose I've overreacted. She was young and while foolish, she is still my daughter. And Rivka is all I have left of my wife. I would do her a disservice to incriminate her daughter like that. Can we make up for how you treated her these past several years? She told you about that. I'm not proud of it. I've wrestled with it ever since my wife died. I have been a terrible father. It will be up to Rivka how she wants me to make amends and I will do whatever it takes. If she wants money, she'll get it. If she wants me to go to therapy, I will. Whatever it takes. I promise. If you break your word, I will hunt to the edge of the stars. Yes, of course. Understood. I will drop the charges against her immediately. I will call off the bounty hunters. Anything for you to leave me be. Please, just go. There's no need for that. I'm sure Natan understands what we've told him. Good. There's something in the room itself. I really wish in a way it would separate it by maybe system or place. Too bad 
I can't squeeze any more. Of course, it's the last one. Is this better than the one I have? Is this an advanced old hunting rifle? No. It's so satisfying, isn't it? Yes, it is. Space frog! 